Well, what are we fixing today? First, I'd love to fix my stuffy nose. I got it cold. So, sorry. It's going to be a little raspy baspy here from my uh, thinking here. So, my instrument has been affected. Um, not COVID. Probably caught it from um, an event we had put on a week or two ago. So, you know. That's the way it goes. Anyway, today we are going to be building a tool for the basement. And we're going to make some room in this section of the basement. So I can start having some room to move. <laughs> okay. Um, the tool we're going to make is, well, how about I show you? That is ash wood from the tree that died out in my yard. Now, uh, some of my other videos, you've seen me on the lift and you've seen me cutting on that tree or seen all the pieces of the tree in the yard. This is, I've, I've got a split wood. However, I'm collecting stuff that's five inches or less. And I'm using that this winter because that's what I have ready-ish. I need to cut them into pieces that are five inches long. This one is really pushing the buzz. You know, I need to cut them that small. The way I've been doing it is, I take, now this down here goes into my dust collector. All right. So I've been setting this four by four right there. Putting chunks of wood on here and kind of holding them and balancing them. Then I have this cute little death saw here. That is a chainsaw. And I've been cutting it down. But as you cut, it wants to roll forward. So I want to make a little jig in here to make that safer and easier. Now, you might ask, why in the heck are you cutting it so small? Let me show you. What am I doing with those little pieces of wood? Well, now I know this is not recommended. But, if you look in here, get a couple pieces like they're over there. And I got some other junk wood here. This is an old bed that I cut up. So let's take this stuff. This is not recommended. This is the manufacturer does not like this. All right. This is I've had I had a video. I mean, on one of my comments on my videos, somebody says, "Did you know that the manufacturer does not recommend putting anything in your in your pellet stove other than pellets, and that you should not use." accelerants to start the fires and I'm like oh man I didn't know that but doing it wrong all this time well let's open this up there's the fire um there are I have some sacrificial steel plates in the sides there and I have some built up on that back one there so what I do this is an Englander. An Englander doesn't have a good way to get rid of its junk when it's burning. So, I'm going to do this left-handed. I come under here, grab a scoop of this, and this is mostly all already burned stuff. It's uh, mostly carbon, ashes. Get rid of a bunch of that. And then, I do this. Yeah, I know I'm getting smoke. Put some wood in there like that. And that'll catch, and that'll burn. Um, if I can save, you know, 10 bags of uh, pellets a year by burning some wood like that, that's 50 bucks savings. So, you know, bags of pellets are about 5 bucks a bag, and I go through about a bag a day. Um less if I keep throwing chunks of wood at it. So, not recommended. 
Um, not safe according to the manufacturer, but you know, that's what I do. So, back to here. Now that we, now that you know what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna explain to you how I'm gonna try to do it. I have this hole in here, which is meant to contain like this shaper. We'll sit down in there, boom. And I got a, a jointer up here that will plunk down in there. And I got this for Christmas, this chainsaw. Yeah, it's, it's, it's terrifying. Like so. Now, as I'm doing that, I gotta hold this hard. And my thing, my fingers are right there next to the saw, and it's all kind of, uh, eh, not, not happy about it. So, I'm going to take some 2x4s and make a desk for this 4x4. Four four. Um, this 4x4 four four is sacrificial. And I will probably be changing this as I go. So I'm just gonna make a place where I can stick a four by four in. I'm gonna add some structure along the sides here and across to hold it together. And something that will come up past here. Oh, something will come up higher than that so that when I cut and it tries to roll, it rolls against this. And if I cut into that, that's fine. That can be sacrificial too, but that's what we're going to try to build. So here I have a 2x4 which I used as a sample for some projects. It'll work fine for this. I want to, I want to have this so that there's a little bit of room in the back here. So that, because when the chainsaw cuts it does throw dust over here. And I can just scoop that in the back. So. This is going to be to be right about there. So these are going to be about that long. Here's a piece of plywood, which I plan on using in here. And I'll mark this inch and a half above. We'll cut this off. And then I'll know where to put, how long these got to be. Let's say, okay, I'm just going to mark the back. And then we can figure out how high it's going to be above anyway. Let's give it a mark. There's a mark. I got some metal pieces here which I need to remove. There, there, and there. All right, so now we don't have to do anything. We don't have to measure this or anything. Just saw that. This metal only goes through, so well, I'll be cutting that metal off. That's all right. That's good. So here's my line where I marked it. Come up about an inch and a half or so, and we're just going to use the crosscut plywood. Saw up because I'm gonna be using it today. I'm gonna get this screw out of here. Since this one's all rusty, into the recycling. All right. So that's just a spacer for now. All right. This is going to be here. Now I need these two by fours to be seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. 
14 and a half. Ten and three quarters. Ten and three quarters. Contact. Ooh, firewood. Okay. I'm going to use the Brad nailer again because if a chainsaw happens to hit it, it's probably not going to do a lot of damage. Those brads are really skinny thin stuff. So. No reachy. Let's do a little magic. Okay. Not going to use that. Let me use this one. This. Hey! I use this to set my distance because that's my distance, but. I'm going to use this. I want to mark where this is. This is and I'm going to cut that out of there. Then this can sit here and I can nail it in that way. All right, this I need for length. I can go over there. right now where I have to cut that high ish okay so I'm gonna make these two cuts here and here and I'm gonna cut it that way here or there doesn't matter really this goes underneath there here to there that up against that and then I have a gap nice all right that's gonna work against that round side up flush down here it won't come quite to the edges because it just won't 
it ain't quite big enough. Just like so. This here. You know what? I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do something else. do not matter because I'll know. But I'm gonna measure five inches. Draw a line. Five inches and draw a line. And cut this section out. here to cutting is about five four or five inches so you know I kind of line up the edge with that That's something you think might work? I mean, I got random sizes all the way from, you know, small, medium, to the full six inches. So I would have to, I don't know, maybe I could drill a hole in the, in the, in the bench and do one of them bench chalk things, you know what, you know what I mean? Hole bounds? Try this big one. Let's see what's coming up. Like that. Here comes way up. Here's the 4x4. Here's the 4x4. The 4x4 is flush mounted here. And the gap is over there. So if I take this, which will fit between, maybe I'll cut a little more of it off, will fit between, and it'll go down in the hole. And if I take that, and so it'll be like that, and then this will be here, and then this can't pick it up without picking that up, and it'll still be flush. Okay. It's going to be like this. I'm going to sand off some of the finish here so that it glues better. That's not even close because this sits in here like this, this sits in here like this, and that is a whole big gap there, so I can still do this. Alright. Fail. 
I have to come up to that level. So I have to mark that level. Nail that on there. And now this is about at the level that it needs to be where the 2x4x4 by, by sits. Yeah, see how this works. I got this sitting in here. This is about slush here. I can put that down there. Now, as it tries to pull back, it has to pull up on the 4x4, and since I'm holding that down, I'm holding everything down. Use this big one where I had trouble before. Today. Oh, it got a little loose too. This don't help. That's too loose. All right. That's for another day. I think I got this tackled. Ready for the next time I want to cut some wood. All right. So our cleanup project for today, as remember these are, this whole series is clean, is fix something and clean something. The next series for today, part of the series is this. I got some wood on my glass saw. I got junk on my wood rack. I got just junk. It belongs in the garage. Over there, there's a whole crap load of birdhouses, which are going to be sold in the spring. Uh, February is not the greatest time to do those so those are coming out of there eventually so in other words they're coming out of there today and I'm gonna make room on these racks to hold wood now I got wood there I got wood there I got wood there all in my walkway wood there I'm gonna try oh, wood back there <laughs> I'm gonna try to collect this stuff that I'm using to make things out of um, organize it maybe a bit but mostly get it in one spot in the basement so probably gonna time-lapse you on this find a good place for you to sit like so and we're going to get to work
So, I think that's what we're going for today. What do you think? A little bit of building a tool, a little bit of cleaning. I think this uh, series is working out well for me. It's getting me off my ass and <laughs> getting me working and back on the saddle. Uh, both with you guys and with my basement. So, if you have any uh, any ideas on maybe a clamp for that thing, you know, be interested in that. Uh, anything else you saw that you uh, have a question about or um, have a suggestion for me, mm -hmm. I'm all ears. So, thanks for watching. That's all for today. Next time, we fix and clean something else. So long.